folks, welcome to the brand new Red Shirt Interviews. That's right, we're going all video. Video is good. Yes. And with us, our first guest for the new video uh, format is the director and actor and uh, multi-talented filmmaker, Matthew Sullivan. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you guys. Good to be here. Uh, now, primarily what we want to talk about is your, is your latest offering, which is the movie coming out, which is Chatter. Yeah. Um, we had, uh, as I mentioned prior to the show starting, we, um, we had a, an opportunity to actually screen the film. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit more about, uh, what the movie is about and what was your kind of inspiration for this particular narrative? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Chatter is a horror thriller, uh, where like 90% of it takes place on Skype. There's a, you know, couple that's temporarily the... Laura is living in London, and David is uh, in L.A. on a job, but they're going to move here. Uh, so he moves ahead of her, and the way that they keep in touch is through Skype. And so during the course of the movie, over, you know, like a couple weeks, we, the audience, uh, start to discover that the house that David is in is haunted. Um, and then there, the other element is uh, they're being you know, watched basically by an agent from Homeland Security. And so that's how we, the audience, are seeing their conversations. And so, you know, there's their conversations and then the people that they're talking to. Um, and then we see the ghost who's able to use the Internet to cross over and, you know, and do things. <laughs> I, I thought it very interesting, the concept of um, uh, of the seeing it from the perspective of the the Homeland Security agent um, and uh, noticing as the story progresses a little bit that he is drawn into it more um, and that you can tell that the more he watches, the more he's interested. Um, I, I think if there was uh, anything we could ask for a little bit more of was uh, a, a little bit a little bit more runtime just to just to see that guy uh, uh, descend and become a little bit more invested in the um, in the story because um, as you said, you know you have these you have these two people who are living apart. They are trying to um, have a, their relationship while at the same time all these weird things are happening and ever so gradually the, the plot of the, you know, the whole backstory of what's going on with the ghost um, kind of comes uh, to the foreground and the audience learns a little bit more as we go along. Um, I think uh, as we were watching, we were, we were talking about it and I thought, well, we'd like to see, have seen a little bit more of this guy because he was starting to really get into the meat of it. Um, yeah. Yeah. And um, right. so it was definitely, you know, you definitely got it uh, that he was invested in the story and trying to figure out what was going on um, sort of after the fact. Yeah. Well, you know, what, what's interesting about that is um, we shot all the Skype stuff um, you know, at one time. We did that in, like, I think it was six days. And then uh, as we were watching the dailies and everything and, you know, starting to edit, we, you know, we came up with, you know, well, there's something missing, and, and there needs to be, like, something that connects it or how are we seeing it. And so I wrote in the whole Homeland Security thing, you know, and then we shot that, and that was before the whole Edward Snowden NSA thing blew up. You know, and so, you know, in hindsight now, it's like, wow, we could have really, you know, we could expand on that. And, you know, we're talking about franchising chatter and taking it in different directions where we're actually, you know, there is, I mean, with, with all movies, there's a ton of stuff we shot that we didn't use. Um, and so there's definitely um, the opportunity there to expand on that and, and you know, make that a, a bigger piece, you know, and. Chatter two, you know, and three, and all of that. Right. Well, um, you know, we, we we noticed that uh, you know right from the get go, one of our one of uh, Redshirt Geeks' uh, old friends, Richard Hatch, um, yeah. was was in the uh, in the story, and um, we obviously we recognized him and uh, Allison Hayslip right away. Um, uh, we know Allison from Tabletop. Um, her appearances cool. on Tabletop. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing we know, you know, like. I noticed you, uh, that Brady Smith um, 
was uh, in the movie as well. And it's one of those things he has a, uh, uh, initially we were, we were looking at him like, I know this guy from, so where have I seen him? The thing is, I know him from everywhere. <laughs> as soon as you start to look through things, he, he becomes an instantly recognizable face. So um, mm -hmm. it was really good to see um, how he played from the initial, everything is good and we're, um, we're happy and we're just kind of waiting out these two weeks till the net, the progression of how the story plays out towards the end of it. Um, like, you know, he did a really good job with that. And also, I mean, um, you have Serena Khan um, yeah. and playing his wife. And, you know, I, I thought, you know, from what I was reading, that, you know, the compared to the other people that were in the movie, you know, she didn't seem to have a, as long a, a list of credits to her name as others, but, but really convincing. So, yeah. You know, she really it looks like she really got stuck into the story. Yeah, I mean, she's definitely you know an up and coming actress who I know that you know she's shooting stuff constantly and um, you know brought you know brought elements to the project that that as a director it was great just to let like her and Brady they just you know they just like took the ball and ran with it. Um, so yeah, she was, I I met her uh, editing her actors reel. <laughs> And I was like, wow, oh, I need to find a way to work with her. Um, and so, and this, you know, this came about. Uh, Brady, uh, I used to deliver food with out in, in uh, Burbank, <laughs> like 10 years ago. And uh, what's, that? what's that? I was just saying, it's, that's, it's kind of, it's nice that you, you, um, you're having this you know, relationship with somebody that you've, you've known for a, a decade. Yeah. yeah. And now you're working together again. Yeah, and he's yeah, he's just an awesome guy, and I you know I've seen him, uh, you know on TV. He's done a you know a ton of commercials, you know, and then I've I've seen him do some like great TV spots, and you know we run ran into each run into each other a lot, um, you know, so that was awesome. And then, you know, I mean you mentioned Richard, you know he's you know I was Apollo when I was seven years old, you know running around in my grandmother's backyard, so. And he's, you know, just the coolest guy, you know, really into, you know, independent film and, you know, people just making their stuff happen. And so I was really, you know, honored to get to meet him, first of all, and then, you know, to get to work with him. And we've worked on a couple other things since. Um, and then Allison, yeah, I just I met her through like literally I was looking for somebody to play Richard Hatch's daughter and three different people said, oh, you should try Allison Hazlett. You know, and and it just it just came together. Um, next question we'd wonder, um, what got you into narrative film? As I saw from your biography, you started as a musician and then worked your way into acting, and now you're directing films. So if you'd like to tell yeah, us a little I, how you got to that point. Yeah, um... I mean, my first response is, I don't know. Um, but, but like you said, you know, I started in music. I was actually a music major in college, and I was in bands here in L.A. for, you know, 10, 15 years. And, um, you know, it was like, I'm, I'm going to be a musician, and that's it. And then I found my way into casting. I, I, you know, I had a day job in, in casting. And through that, I ended up in front of the camera as an actor. And then... Um, you know, it's funny because people would say, you know, have you, do you write? Have you written anything? And at the time I didn't, you know, my response was, I don't really have any stories to tell. <laughs> and then stories presented themselves and I started writing. Um, and then uh, I actually, Chatter came about, uh, I had done a short film called Anna, which, you know, was a nine minute short, um, where, where basically I had all these, friends in London on Twitter who were actors and producers and directors and we would share you know our projects and and we were like man I wish we could find a way to work together and but we're you know we're oceans apart and there's no way to do that and so I had a thought of what if we shoot part of the movie there and part of the movie here and then that became well, let's do something on Skype and I've never seen that before but let's figure it out and then that became it became Anna, which was a horror movie on Skype. Um, and so when uh, Steve Jacobs, who's one of the producers, saw the short film, 
and said, you need to turn this into a feature. And so I was like, well, I don't know if I can expand nine minutes of Skype into, you know, into a full length feature, but we started working on it. Um, and then I had the option, you know, do I want to direct? Do I want to act? What do I want to do? And uh, I chose to direct. And, and coming from the casting background, um, I did the math one time, working in casting for 10 years, I, I've directed 30,000 scenes at least. You know, so I know that I know how to work with actors. I knew that I, you know, knew how to get performances. And so, and I've been, uh, you know, I directed a web series and I'd done some smaller stuff for the web here and there. And then, so it was just like, yeah, let's take on a feature and let's do it. That's something we noticed this with, we could tell the, we're definitely getting good performances from all the actors as we watched. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. a that's a hallmark of a good director is that, you know, one of the things that uh, I learned myself in film school was that the director is is, is far more than just the guy who calls the shots. The, the, mm -hmm. the true the true calling for a, of a director is to evoke performances out of people to make them want to give you that that performance, that character, that that yeah. entity that is screaming to perform in front of an audience. Um, and, you know, definitely one thing we saw um, is that all of, the, um, all of the actors that we saw were definitely invested in their characters. Um, yeah. So, again, you know, well done on that. And, uh, you know, we sat there and watched through it. And we, we talked about it afterwards. And we thought, okay, you know, where, where does this come from? Where does, where does the... Um, it's not, not just the movie itself. Where does it, this kind of journey come from um, with, with filmmakers and such like that? Um, have, I mean, we, I've, I've looked at, um, you know, the, some of the, I just made a couple notes, and, um, you know, we saw that you've worked with Funny or Die, which is, you know, uh, I always love Funny or Die stuff, you know. Um, and then we watched, uh, actually, just before we started recording tonight, we, we uh, quickly watched Kung Fu Man, which is um, uh, one of your, uh, I mean, as one of your mo uh, most notable, notable works. Um, yeah. And, and of course, I had to stop for a moment and watch the Star Wars parody, the Episode 7 <laughs> parody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, um, and that what, was before it Episode 7 went into production, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it caught my attention. I was like, wait a minute, Episode 7? What's that? And then I was like, oh, I got I'm sorry. I, I just read the, the text crawl. I have to watch this. Um, <laughs> and, you know, do you find that you know being in the in the business once you start rolling through things that things start to unlock a little bit faster or do you feel find that no matter how good or how bad you do on a particular production that it's always um a challenge to to move from one project to the next um wow that's that's a good question i think uh At least as far as my experience, um, you know, I have, I'm fortunate that I'm around a community of people who, you know, have equipment and like to shoot stuff. And so um, rolling from one thing to another um, hasn't really been a, an issue for me, you know. And, and so, you know, we have a good time on set. You know, everybody's really comfortable. Um, the projects are received well. You know, and it, it's always fun to shoot. And so, you know, I've been fortunate to to be able to go from one thing to another to another. And, you know, I didn't start out intending to be a director at all. And now it's like I, I love it. And I'm, you know, building my career. And um, but the, but the one thing um, I, I, I want to say is it's crucial to to be in action, you know, you know, so what has me be able to go from one thing to another is like I'm I'm going from one thing to another. You know, I'm I'm writing, I'm having conversations with you know crew and producers and cast, and and so there's always something uh, moving towards. I, as you know, as a, you know, we we see we talk to a lot of people, we deal with um, filmmakers who are either seasoned or who are you know, or just kind of finding their way and also people are just getting started off in the industry. And, and every time uh, we, we have these conversations, we, 
you know, it comes across to us that, you know, we're always being asked the question, um, what advice, you know, can people have when they're starting to get into film? Um, and, you know, I'd like to pose the question to you as well. You know, if somebody uh, rolled up to you today, or perhaps even one of the people on your, your, in your cast or crew, uh -huh. said, hey, you know, I want to do a movie, or I'm thinking about doing a movie, what, what would you recommend I start with? Um, to start in, in terms of getting, like, making a movie? Um, yeah, as, as, you know, if they want to make a movie, not just be in one or be a part of one, yeah. they want to take an idea they have and, and make it come to life or bring it to fruition. Yeah, well, um, I mean, the first step is to, to sit down and write it, you know, and then, you know, put in the time, make sure you, you know, you get it written and get feedback from it. And, um, like, I, uh, I welcome, you know, feedback, and I'm, I'm a big, like, editor. I'll chop stuff up. I don't care, you know. Uh, and, and to, so coming at it with, you know, what is the story I want to tell? Um, get that down on paper or on computer or whatever and get some feedback and then, you know, talk to people. Like, you know, I'm fortunate with, with Chatter that, the, you know, all of the crew are, you know, professionals, you know, seasoned professionals. And uh, the other producer, Aaron Harvey, has made movies and Steve has made movies. And so, and the DP, uh, Luciano, uh, has made movies. So at any point, if I wasn't sure of something, I could just ask. You know, and I, I wasn't afraid to, you know, look bad or anything. It's like, all right, well, this is how I want it to look. What do you think? Yes or no? And then, and then just go with it, you know. But, but the one thing you got to do, you know, is just, is you just got to, like, t keep taking those steps. Um, but definitely, you know, starting with the script, for sure. Sure. Um, one last question I have for you is um, what is next for Chatter? I mean, um, you know, when, when are we looking to, to see that come out? Um, and is it going to be hitting the, the fe film festival circuits? What, what are your plans? Yeah, okay, so the, the plans for Chatter are uh, right now, uh, well, we just won the uh, Best Experimental Feature in the L.A. Thriller Film Festival last month. Uh, we were just accepted to the Innovative Film Festival, which is coming up. And then um, I mean, we've submitted probably to, you know, like eight or nine or so festivals, and we're just waiting to hear back at this point. Um, and um, we've attracted the attention of some distributors. So, you know, even with us doing festivals, we're negotiating with a couple of distributors. We have people who want to see the movie. Um, one of the things that we're working out is, is <clears throat> excuse me, one of the things that we're actually working out is doing like a, you know, a theatrical release, which would be awesome, you know, yeah. and then using that to, to leverage into, you know, the on demand and, and that sort of thing. So that's, that's the, the phase we're in now, which is crazy because, you know, we shot the movie in like no time, took a bunch of time to edit, and now the whole like distribution festival after thing is uh it's a little crazy <laughs> now um, they're the easy part yeah, uh, we made the film now we got to do something with it <laughs> yeah exactly so you know i had no idea what to expect at all in fact i expected it to you know just be like all right we'll show it to some people and we'll get it out and you know but it's <laughs> it's, uh, it's a whole different beast you know yeah um well you know we, we watched uh you know very excited to to see that to see the movie um get out there and uh, hit more audiences and such. Um, and definitely enjoyed seeing your work, and we can't wait to see some more from you. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, thank you so much for coming on the show with us um, tonight. Um, thank you for being our first uh, guest on the new format of the Red Shirt yeah. Interviews. And we hope to be talking to you again uh, as things progress and as things, you know, sort of more uh, action happens with um, either Chatter or any other project we've got going on. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. And I just, I wanted to say, um, you know, people can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash chatter movie. And that's the, you know, our Facebook page for that. And, you know, I post updates there all the time. Fantastic. Well, thank you again. Uh, our guest tonight has been Matthew Solomon, and we've been talking about his new movie, Chatter. Thanks again, Matthew. And we, uh, again, oh, we look forward to talking to you again soon. All right. Take care, guys. Thank you. Right.